Hello everyone, Justin here, and today we are going to draw an owl. We're going to do this in pencil. So let's just go ahead and start by drawing the top of its owl, uh, top of its head. And the forehead area is basically an upside down triangle or kind of like a diamond shape. So we'll just rough that in. And the ear, his left ear, actually just extends off the diagonal part of the triangle. The right ear though, because it's the head's kind of rotated to his right, we'll actually start off a little bit in. So right here we're gonna show the back of his ear. And again, another triangular shape. So let's rough in the beak area, which is just an elongated sharp oval. And the eyes, of course, will be on either side. So the right eye will be right underneath the brow and kind of roundish oval and the left ear will be more rounded so we'll just go ahead and rough that in and of course it's underneath the brow so we'll go ahead and start putting in the pupils round circles and we'll go ahead and put in couple highlights you could always just use one highlight and we'll go ahead and switch over to our 4b lead pencil and darken the pupil now and this will be our darkest dark using our 4b pencil so just staying away from the highlighted area and darken this in so the eyes, of course, are the most important part of uh, any drawing, and you want to emphasize that. And we'll talk more about that later. So back to my 4B pencil. I'm going to go ahead and start shading. Um, but let's finish off the face first. Um, the main face area is basically a flattened oval, kind of an egg shape. Although there's really, it almost doesn't look like the bird has a neck. It just kind of goes directly into the body. So let's rough in the body real quickly here. And kind of clarify all our lines here first. And add a little bit of shading. So let's go ahead and start shading. And I'm primarily going to be using short lines for this uh, drawing kind of to help indicate where the feathers are and to just add texture while at the same time adding form with our shading. So I'm starting here by putting in some dark, somewhat darker tones by adding, just simply by adding pressure. But a lot of this will be short lines and I'll switch all over often to my dark, darker, softer lead 4B pencil, like right here for the inside. And I'll just roughly shade this in real quick um, and then go back to my short lines to, again, indicate texture. The use of these short lines is not just, again, as I mentioned before, not just to indicate tone, but also to indicate texture. And the direction of the line will also indicate the form of the shape when it's rounded but of course also show the direction that the feathers uh, lay so a lot of short lines and i'm going to basically go the direction of the feathers and for the most part it's going to go away radiate from the center of the head let's go ahead and start d darkening the eyes so the outer part of the eye is actually kind of a thick line so here i'm emphasizing it even more again back to my softer lead so the eyes really make or break a lot of pictures that have eyes such as pictures of people or animals and you want to really emphasize that quite a bit i'm going to go ahead and start adding some cast shadow underneath the brow. The eyes are a little bit inset 
and there will also be a shadow right on the eyeball so I'm indicating that kind of subtle and the shadow continues on on the outside of the eye right there and the uh, the face itself is actually outlined where the oval is by kind of a darker stripe and this helps set off the face as well from the neck and body and again I'm using radiating, radiating lines coming off the center short lines and I'm varying this a little bit just because the feathers of course are not regular and you don't want it to look too static looking and stiff so just quickly going through and for the most part I'm gonna I'm going to be drawing this owl at my normal speed not really taking pausing to uh, show what I'm going to be doing and that way you can kind of see just what my normal speed would be when I'm trying to draw something of course depending on how much detail I want um, it will take longer and I'll be a little bit more careful in that respect but for the most part I don't I really don't care to take much time when I'm drawing something and uh, I just try to get the thing the drawing done so here I'm back to my 4b 2b pencil and now I'm indicating the facial textures the feathers again um, heading towards the center of the face radiating lines short lines And for the most part, what I'm trying to do here is I am going from the outside heading in. So the outer part of the line will be tends to be thicker and thinner as I finish off that line. And the tip of this pencil tends to dull a bit after using it after a few strokes. And here I want to show some detail. And so what I'll do is I'll actually rotate the barrel or change the angle of my pencil just so I can get a sharp point again and uh, these sharp lines help to add more detail as opposed to just um, kind of a monotonous softer line that comes about when the pencil lead starts to wear off okay so it's important to just vary the line whether it's the direction or the pressure that you put on it and this just gives it a lot of variety in your drawing and as you can see here I'm just kind of drawing this time away from the center outward but I'm here I'm back to going from out and going in so I'll just keep doing this and this can be a little bit monotonous so sometimes what I'll just go ahead and do is go from one area and switch over to another area and that kind of keeps it keeps me a little bit more interested in a sense so I'll keep going back and forth depending on where I need to add more detail and or change the tones like here I'm just doubling up a bit on certain areas to make air those parts a little bit darker and if I need to make it a little bit darker still I'll go to this pencil so I'm gonna go ahead and just start working on the beak here which is pretty much black a really dark gray but I'll still add some tonality to this by keeping the center right here kind of a grayish lighter tone but it'll still be dark just to distinguish it from the surrounding areas and keep the outer parts and the lower part 
pretty dark just to give it shape and put a center line right here and add a little bit of shadow just underneath the beak here just to show that that area does recede somewhat away from the beak and these are just really short lines so a lot of these lines when you're doing it doesn't seem like it's um, doing much but in the end when you're looking at the picture it's it looks as if you put in a lot of time as far as putting in a lot of detail again back to my 2, 2b pencil but adding extra lines to darken the outermost part of his face and I'll go ahead and start shading in um, the forehead again radiating lines first as the initial layer just sharp distinct lines and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and go back and shade this in with like a solid wash of uh, mid-tones and but again this is another technique of adding detail and making your drawing look more complicated than it is just by doing it in a couple layers so here I'm gonna go ahead and start darkening this whole area and you can see here I'm just blending in the mid-tones very quickly and overall this area up here will be slightly darker than the area under his eyes his face so just doing a quick wash real quick here with the pencil and I'll go back with my 4b and make this a little bit darker still but you can tell that it's already darker than the face still keeping my line direction consistent as far as radiating from the center and I'll just add more detail right here now and the edge will be a little bit darker and this gives it nice contrast against the white of the paper as well and again short lines and I'm going to start adding some of the details that are inherent in the owl's feathers with some darker dots here and these dots is just part of the pattern of the owl's feathers and I'm actually also going to use I think I'll go ahead and use an eraser to emphasize some of the dots a little bit closer to his beak so going back to the face there are dark areas here as well some spots and I'll just emphasize that as well and these are kind of irregular and I'll just continue on the on to the next some of the shading that I'm gonna do so I'm on this drawing is primarily about the head of the owl but I'm going to include some of the neck body area but here I don't want it to be to stop all of a sudden so I want it to kind of fade out as we go towards the neck so I'll keep the bottom part somewhat irregular and my pencil strokes will get a little bit rougher as and sparse as I get closer to the bottom right here leaving the lower part looking a little bit more sketchy kind of rough and continuing on with my uh, shading where I keep my line direction kind of consistent as we get to the body here though the feathers do start to radiate kind of downward so the I think the edge can be a little bit more discreet and going back to the body with short lines all right, I'm gonna add some more detail here by adding these little short lines to show the 
trailing edges of the, some of the feathers. And these are just kind of scalloped lines, shallow U-shaped lines. And again, these little things kind of give it a lot of detail, when you, especially when you look at it for the first time. So again, just really roughly indicating the trailing edges of the feathers. So some of the feathers on this owl are darker than others. And so you'll indicate that simply by kind of scribbling, really. Some of these darker shapes, again, kind of U-shaped, J-shaped. And depending on what's covering that particular feather, you'll get different uh, shapes as far as the dark tones. All right, continuing on here. Just adding more detail. Again, sometimes I'm just going to add these lines, which again shows the trailing edge of the feather. The feathers on this owl are very short, small, but there's a lot of them, especially on the body. And add some more detail here as well on the, on the face. Again, the same general idea of basically you're showing some separation from the different feathers here. More scallop lines. add a little variety right there just above the beak okay so now I'm gonna use my pencil eraser or eraser pencil and start erasing some dots from the forehead area and this to me this eraser doesn't really erase all the pencil so it'll be a little bit more subtle which is what I want just because these dots to me don't want I don't want the dots to be white so one way of creating highlights on a pencil drawing is to actually use white paint but then that paint like right here would be too white so by using this pencil eraser I can take off some pencil marks but it'll still be kind of a subtle soft gray area which is the effect I'm looking for you what you could also do of course is as you shade leave the spots alone and then just go over the whole thing with a, your finger Cover it a little bit with lead and that'll quickly do it as well. There's just different ways of doing this. And I'll do the same thing a little bit here on the face and that should pretty much be it. I'm just gonna shade the outer part of the eye quickly with my finger, picking up a little bit of lead outside first and then shading the eye. That's pretty much it. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you at the next video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe have a great day.